is nerve wracking. So I'm starting with the levers I need the most because I, I don't think I'm going to get these all done in one day. So if I put the E levers on I can play in B flat and F. So I can play two tunes <laughs> without having to retune the strings. So that's it, lever lined up with the string so that it should just push the string down onto that grooved part there, which it does. Yay! It's just right! So I guess now I just put the other screw in. As if it's as easy as that. I just realised how small... Oh, how on earth am I going to get the drill in there? Hmm. Oh, that was so tight. I drilled my hole. working lever! <laughs> That's exciting. That really is. Amazing. Okay, that is one done. 32 to go. <laughs> So that's the C levers done now as well. Getting there. Had a little bit of a problem with this one. So basically the first hole, this one here, when I started drilling, I felt the drill slip sideways. <laughs> so the hole has ended up too far this way. So I managed to sort of push it as far as I could this way with that screw. And I filed away a little bit of the metal of the lever there so that I could push it even further and then I think it's okay now. It doesn't sound bad, you know, as if there's any buzzing or anything, so... So this E lever here is also slightly off position, which I'd never really noticed. You can see the F, the string goes nicely into it there. But this one here, it does actually run a little bit close to that ridge there. But yeah, I guess I got lucky. It's all right.
But yeah, funny that is I just never noticed that at the time and that actually looks even worse than the C one that I've just put on. Or just as bad anyway. Yeah, they're tricky little things, these levers. <laughs> so the challenge with these top strings is to get the pitch change small enough, as in to get, even get it as small as a semitone. Um, just because the strings are so short, the, the distance here that you need for a semitone is like tiny, plus the fact that it's, um, it's pushing the string laterally, so there's also an increase in tension which increases the pitch as well. So to get it small enough is quite hard. So this is the G one and it's like, you can hear, basically it's a tone at the moment. And it's about as close as I can get it to the bridge pin there. There's almost no gap there. So I can't move the lever any further up. So the only thing I can do now is lower the bridge pin. Um, and this, it's kind of useful to know actually how this all works so that you, you can regulate your harp in the future. Um, but yeah, you can see here that if I put the bridge pin down this way, then the string is going to go down. And then when I put the lever on, the amount that it pushes it down is going to be less. So the increase in tension is going to be less. That's how it works. So pushing the bridge pin in makes the engaged pitch less sharp but you don't really need to remember that if you understand why you can it's kind of obvious just looking at it so yeah i'm learning a lot doing this, this is really cool <laughs> um so this is how we do it just turn that and it has a really big effect and it also puts puts out the tuning of the open string as well. So I'm gonna have a look at what that the tuning of that is. So that's gone quite sharp now, so I have to retune the open string. And it's still quite sharp, so put the bridge pin in even further. Now, the other thing I'm finding as I'm doing this, so as I'm putting the bridge pin in more and more, the angle of the string as it goes from the bridge pin up to the tuning pin is getting, you know, steeper, basically it's like a steeper angle. I think my tuning pins are a bit too far through, so... I'm a bit worried that that's putting too much stress. So you can see how these bits of string are all going up quite steeply to, to the tuning pins because they're basically too far through. Um, so I'm wondering if I should unwind these strings and redo them. But I don't know. don't know what's best to do about that. Might be better just to leave them since they're stable. So you can already hear that that is a lot better, but it's still too sharp. Now I've gone too far. Is just about right. That's ever so slightly sharp. So even moving that tiny amount has changed the tuning of the open string.
Yep, that's it. We got there. Just one little lever left. <laughs> 